Hi guys, in today's video we will look at the stages of the cardiac cycle, how it's coordinated and what ECGs are, and then we'll look at the action of the valves and pressure changes before finishing with an exam style question. So the cardiac cycle can be uh, pretty much summarised using this diagram, uh, and I'll just talk you through it starting with atrial systole. This is a stage where the atria in the heart contract, um, and this basically tops up the ventricles which are already filled with blood. Um, we then move to ventricular systole which is where the ventricles in turn contract and this forces blood up and out of the heart uh, into the arteries. From ventricular systole we move to diastole which is where all the four of the chambers in the heart relax and um, they fill. And the reason that they're allowed to fill is because of elastic recoil, uh, which allows the chambers to increase in volume and return back to their sort of original size. And then um, that explains why the ventricles already have some blood in them uh, and we get all the way back to atrial systole and the atria contract. Uh, now that's all well and good, but you might remember from the previous video that uh, we said the cardiac muscle, which is the muscle that's found in the heart, is myogenic. And this means that it can essentially uh, contract rhythmically by itself. It doesn't necessarily need to be attached to a body. Unfortunately, though, um, if uh, cardiac muscle were just left to contract by itself, the atria actually contracts slightly faster than the ventricles. And uh, this is actually not great um, because it can lead to fibrillation and we'll see some ECG traces of fibrillation later. Um, but essentially fibrillation is not great. Um, so we need some way of controlling the heart. Now, in order to explain this, um, I just want to draw your attention to the kinds of diagrams that we've been using. This one is basically um, the heart cut in two down the middle. Um, but for the next diagram, uh, we've essentially taken a cross section that is a little further towards the edge. So we miss all of the major arteries and veins going in and out of the heart, which is why you don't see them here. Hey guys, to continue watching this video completely free and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level biology videos, just click the button. Join me today and together let's make A-level biology a walk in the park. 